Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about how we can lighten and darken scanned images using both Adobe uh, Photoshop and Adobe Acrobat Pro. So most of you probably have scanned a document before and you've used either a flatbed scanner or a auto document feeder. Whatever program you may be using, there's usually an option that you can go ahead and you can lighten or you can darken uh, a scan as you go ahead and complete that scan. However, if a customer has provided you with a PDF file and it has a scanned image in there, unfortunately you have to do a little bit of manipulation yourself. So I thought I'd talk about that today about a couple different ways that you could go about it and that you can make some uh, lightening and darkening adjustments. So I have two PDF files in front of me. This first one here, if I open this up in uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro, you can see it's just a simple one-page document. This is obviously a scan of this uh, business report. And I want to go ahead and I want to darken this whole uh, page up a little bit. So the simplest way to do that is actually to come back in here and just open this with Adobe Photoshop. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave as is here as I uh, hit OK. And as I open this document, I just go up to File Mode, and I can see we're in grayscale right now. And I can do a couple. I can do manipulations a couple different ways. If I want to manipulate just certain areas of this, I can just use my um, the uh, uh, marquee uh, tool to select a certain area. So in this case, I can just say I want to darken this graph up, and I'll go into Image Adjustments, and I can adjust my curve, and I can adjust it up or down and you can see it's only going to affect the areas that are inside of that uh, marquee tool selection. Um, but let's say I just want to go ahead and I want to darken the entire document here. So without anything selected I'll just go back here into image and I'll go down to adjustments and I'll click on curves. And here I can adjust this curve to darken or lighter the image and or lighten the image excuse me and if I go to the extreme corners here, you can see this basically will take the entire image and pretty much turn it white. And this will do basically the opposite where the text becomes so dark you can't even read it. So obviously there's some play with this. I want to adjust it uh, to a certain level that I can read everything and darken the text up, but I don't want to darken it too much. So let's just say I go... Uh, route right here. So I started with 50 and I'm at an output of 70. So I'll click OK. Now I can go ahead and I can save this PDF and I can send it off to print and it should print much darker than what I started with originally. And if I just hit undo you can see the difference between the uh, original document and the uh, uh, darkened uh, document. So that works great. If you want to just do that to a single page PDF or if you have a single photo that you want to uh, manipulate. But what if you have a multi-page PDF? So here you can see I have a scanned copy of the, Win uh, the Wizard of Oz. And this isn't the whole book, but it's uh, 62 pages of the book. And obviously this first page is very, very light. And some of the text here and some of the uh, like the clothes and the scarecrow here are very very light so we want to go ahead and we want to darken this all up so what I could do is I can come back in here and I can go open with Adobe Photoshop and now I am gonna have to go through page by page with all 62 pages open those up one by one make my adjustments and it'll be obviously very time-consuming to go through 62 pages and manipulate those one at a time or what I can do is use a pre-flight in Adobe Acrobat that will achieve a similar effect. Maybe not be perfect. Um, I will admit that Photoshop, if you want to fine-tune a page to perfection, that's obviously going to be the best way to do it. But if you want to go ahead and quickly apply this to multiple pages, a pre-flight is going to be the way to go. So back here in Adobe Acrobat, I'm going to go to Print Production and I'm going to go to Pre-flight. And in my fix up area, I have one that I have created called uh, dot gain, adjust dot gain. So if I edit this, and uh, I'm sorry, but if you haven't seen uh, some of my previous videos, 
the way to create a new pre-flight is to simply come and click on the uh, wrench icon here and then you're going to go to options and then you're going to go to create fix up and this will get you to this same menu here as i click edit so the type of fix up that we're going to uh, be applying here is the adjust dot gain and essentially what this is going to do is exactly what we just achieved in photoshop by adjusting some of those uh, mid-level curves so that we can either darken or lighten all of the images inside of our PDF file. Now I can apply this to everything in my PDF or I can apply it to only images or only text. Uh, this would be a good idea if you have a PDF that is mixed between uh, scanned images and maybe text that's been typed on top of it. Uh, in this case everything is just a scanned image so I'm just going to leave that on all. I'm also going to apply these check marks so that it applies for all these uh, color situations. But in here, this is where the magic happens, basically. The, this is where we can adjust the tone uh, values um, by down 25% or all the way up to 25% by default. Now, I made this custom one here, and I'll go over that in a moment. But... By default, Acrobat will give you minus 25 all the way to a positive 25. Now, if you know the exact adjustment you want to apply, you can go ahead and click on that specific value. Or what I did here was I just created a new variable. And um, actually, I want to edit. Sorry, because I already created it. But basically, I just created this as a variable. So it's going to load up all of those different values here that are available to us so I can choose that when I run the actual pre-flight. So I'll talk about the uh, adjustment that I made here in just a moment. But if we go back in here and we go ahead and run our uh, fix up, I'm just gonna go ahead and go plus 25 on my tone adjustment because this is a lighter image and I want to go darker. If it was darker and I wanted to go lighter, I would go minus. So I'm gonna click okay. I will save this as underscore two. I'll hit save. And it's gonna go through the entire document and it's going to apply all of these fix up to all of the different objects that are within this PDF file. So it might not look like a whole lot happened here, but if I open up my original and compare it, you can see the two here. Let me click close here so we can. This is my original document and this is my uh, new document after I've applied the fix up. So you can see the line itself has become significantly darker. And if I go to the page where we have our scarecrow here, it's page five. So let me scroll down. You can see how much darker his clothes are now as they were before. So this increased everything throughout the course of the document. I only had to do it one click and I applied it to all 62 pages. I didn't have to go through one by one. Um, and again, it's not going to be as fine-tuned as Photoshop would be because if I want to um, darken just a certain section, let's say I want to choose this you know, with pictures by, I can go into Photoshop, select my marquee tool, go around just this area, and I can darken that one specific area uh, alone as opposed to doing the entire document um, at one time. However, um, most of the time, you're just doing it to darken text or darken a few Im images here and there, and this is the way to go. So let me go back here into my pre-flight and I'll click on edit. And now to get this custom value here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the bottom uh, option here that says open folder with configuration files. And so what this does is it opens the, the folder that contains all of these uh, curves here. So like I said, by default, Acrobat ships with minus 25 all the way to uh, positive 25. And if I open one of these up here, you can see if I open it with a text editor, <clears throat> you can see what it's doing here is it's taking whatever input value is here and it's making it uh, match over here. So this is essentially all white. So 0.0, .0 is all white. 1.0 is basically all black. So it's saying if an image has a all white area, just leave it all white. If an image has a all black area, just leave it all black. 
if an image has a 50% curve to it or 50% grayscale, go ahead and bump that up to a 75%. So darken the whole image. Now I've created one here that if I put it up next to it, you can see here I have it the same where it's 0, 0.0 and 1 and 1, but here I have gone from 0.5 all the way up to 1.0. So this is going to increase that darkness in the image um, even more so than what we applied in the first step. So let me go ahead and let me just close all these out. Um, the one caveat you do have to keep in mind is that if you do make a custom uh, curve setting in here, you're gonna have to go ahead and you're going to have to close out your uh, Acrobat and restart it because uh, those values load at default when the program opens. So if you make an adjustment, you save it there in that folder, you're going to go ahead and have to uh, completely exit out of Acrobat and then reopen it so that you can see that actual value. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go back to my original here. This is the one with my really light uh, line image here. And I'll go back to print production. I'll go to pre-flight. I will select my fix up here again. Except this time, I'm going to apply that custom value that I set up here. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I will save this as underscore 3. And I'll hit Save. And from here, you can see, once it finishes, that my image of my line got significantly darker than even what it was before. So this is what I, uh, the end result after I applied it the first time using the plus 25 and this is the result that I got after my own custom um, curve setting. And if I go th through here, you can see how much darker this image is of the scarecrow. And if I open up my original, just for comparison, you can see how big of a difference there is there. Close that out so you can see. So obviously in my original, it's very, very light. And in this one, I've darkened it up significantly. And now this should print a lot better when I send this off to be um, uh, printed on my printer. And again, this has been applied to all 62 pages within the document. So all of the text, all of the image, images within here have been darkened based off of those settings that I applied. So it allows me to make curvature settings not only just for one page, but for the entire document. Um, so it speeds things up. This is especially uh, probably helpful for those folks who deal with a lot of scanned books. Um, I don't know too many uh, industries that deal with it, but uh, I'm sure there's people out there that, that do um, deal with it a fair amount. So hopefully something like this will help you out, speed up your, your workflow a little bit more. Um, if you have any questions, please leave those down in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer those. Please check out some of my other videos. They deal with uh, pre-flight situations just like this. As always, if you can leave a like, um, and obviously if you've watched the video all the way to this point, um, you must like it or it must help you in some way. So if you can hit that like, subscribe if you haven't. Also check out the Patreon page. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Uh, there's options to buy some of the videos that I've purchased or uh, that I've made, purchased some of the uh, uh, um, files, excuse me, that I've used to make some of the videos that I've done. Um, and obviously if you just want to support the channel a little bit more, Patreon is a great way to do so. I appreciate the watch. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.